United Nations again. Non Mignon coming out of the French region up against the Barbadian surfer Josh Burke and a couple of Brazilians, Luel Philippe and Wesley Santos, who I was out free surfing with him, looking very sharp yesterday. This is heat number five of round five. Start until surfers do take a wave, and you can see all three surfers really trying to jostle for that uh, first priority there. Must be really hard for these guys to come up with a strategy based on the changing conditions. As we pick up on Josh Burke, we'll, uh, we'll find the replay of him and see what he did out at the beginning. He gets a, from what we saw, a little end slam and a little Rio at the beginning, just a smaller wave, but looking to get busy under that uh, priority. So from those surfers, so this was, of course, Josh Burke, the Barbados surfer. Kind of got into that one a little wide, so it didn't have too much wall for him to work with, but... Uh, Went busy at the beginning of the heat, wants to get a score under the belt, and he had the solid calves on the outside, and he did get the completion with a nice little... Yeah, Josh, one of the, the newer additions to the tour. He's uh, pretty fresh and out of Barbados, so he's used to surfing nice warm water, but uh, couldn't find too much info on him online on the app, and here goes your surfer in green, Wesley Santos, like you said, ripping in the free sessions yesterday. Wesley Santos behind the section there. Looks so sharp and uh, landed that little under the lip hit and then less sharp on that last one, just kind of misplacing his footing. So he'll go back out and reset for that one. This one from Wesley Santos came in from deep, maybe thinking about the barrel. That was a pretty heavy section. You see him doing really well to bring that around. Kind of got a little caught up on that layback. Yeah. Some time in South Africa too, surfing the Women's 3000 at the SA Open and got through almost to uh, all the way and then uh, really uh, impressed me. Some solid surfing in tough conditions. Speaking of solid surfing, Non Mignon is going to square this one up. That's two hits on this. This is looking better for him. Wave just slows up a bit. He's going to stick with it and just get some work done here while he waits for it to stand up, hoping it stands up. Just some big hacks out of the face. Not a whole lot of speed to carry through into that section, but still nonetheless completes it. Not my favourite manoeuvre of the morning, but again, getting a score. And then Namay getting a really nice hook under the lip. Goes straight to the lip. This guy's backhand is pretty vicious. And uh, also, again, seeing a little bit of a flat section on this one. So all three of these openers kind of went a little flat down the bank. And it might just be some water pushing back in. That'll lock him in a mid-score, mid I would have thought. Luel Philippe, well, he's got a bit more critical. And you can see his body language there saying, hey, I didn't mind that one. That was a bit bigger. In the groove here in Belito, okay. in uh, Quartacusa. It's an uh, amazing place. You're happy to be here? Yeah, an unreal place. It's my first time here, so really excited to be a part of the comp and um, enjoying the good ways we've got on off. I haven't seen the Dolphins come through as yet, but what we have seen is a lot of these ones. Look at the elbow on this thing. This thing's got a great little angle. Wesley Santos, he's going to try and do a little better than his last 2.9. Heading down the line, back doors that barrel. Has he got enough speed? I wouldn't have thought so because that thing's just run away on him as it uh, hit the bank further down. It's great to see that uh, conditions looking so good out here and... Uh, See your surfer and white Josh Burke up and riding. And a lovely clean calf to start things off. Goes vertical. And now coming on into the inside section, getting caught up on the last turn. I really like the second turn. It was aggressive. We haven't seen aggression like that. Uh, unless he wasn't reacting to that hit. He was certainly going up really squared up. A lot of South Africans were you know, wanting Slade to do well. And he's been on fire, but he just did not find the right waves. Non Mignon, a Frenchman, he's in second position. Little backhand floater there. Does really well to stick the landing. Gets straight back up into that section. Squares that one up there. So, 4.5. I'd say that might rival that one, which is his current highest score for the heat so far. He's in second position. That was a great little wave. As we check in with Luel Philippe, he's currently leading this heat. Lots of speed to burn here. 4.33. He's low. Oof. Checks in with the progression element there and just not able to grab... The board on that one, too much projection down the line, didn't get the elevation. Lee Santos sitting at the back, that will get priority. Our surface sitting in green and red, and this is Wesley Santos going to roll the dice on this one here. What's he going to do? Does a mid-face kind of carve, didn't really set that one up. In two minds of that last section, kind of reactive to what the wave had to do there, rather than dictating it himself. Which is some solid backhand surfing down the line. Now we spoke about this board, watch the bottom turn here. As he goes in there, you just see that inside rail grab a bit of water, and it kind of slows him down, and almost he didn't have enough speed to come around and get that close up. And you're doing really well. 4.43 <laughs> for Wesley Santos, so it will be his highest scoring wave of the heat so far, but still gonna, he'll be in fourth position. Nome Mignon squares that one up. That's a better hit, lots of speed. 
A little lateral on that one. Comes around the section. Really good rail to rail. It's uh, absolutely critical on the bank. And look at that beautiful vertical hit. That is a classic example of what to do on the backhand out here on these hollow right-handers. Border his looks really good. Josh Burke out on the face for this one. What's he going to do here? Lovely little hit. Free fall. Does he ride out of that detonation? I think not. wonder if that wave is going to put him in position for this one. This one's just running off the bank a bit. He'll have fourth priority, so we'll see if someone with priority will execute that down the line. As we stick with Luel Philippe again, second chance. Under the lip, that's better. Little drop wallet, squares that one up, lovely speed, and gets up into this section and rides through it. So much better for Luel Philippe. That was Condor toes right there on that last Just the one. Claws locked in. Whew. Let's check out the replay because we kind of liked it in the booth. Yeah, well, he was really lucky wide, and this wave came running wide down the bank, and he just hammers into that drop wallet. Beautiful style through the turn, too. Gets a solid little hook off the top and did very well to get up and over. And we said about the condor toes there. Contrast to what we've seen earlier with a couple of eights from a Brazilian Wesley Dantes. Luel Felipe, he's a Brazilian. He's up and riding. And over the handlebars he goes. So just overcooking that first term. You've got to applaud the commitment to that first one. The judges often like that, but you run the risk of doing exactly that. And that is overcooking. He waited quite a while for that one, looking to... I guess solidify that second position and ditch that 4-3-3, but he won't do it on that one. As we see, looks like Wes Santos here. He has got priority. He's going to execute it on this one here. Comes from behind the section. Has he got the speed? That's a better open face hack. Going to try and get up to this section here. And a better hit there. So Ooh. I reckon there'll be a question mark as you inhale extensively. A question mark might be around, did he actually complete that one? Yeah. Uh... Didn't have the control? Well, that's to your advantage, not knowing what is ahead of you. you just got to come around the section, which Josh Burke is doing here and just unable to get himself up and over. Trust that Luel Philippe, he was able to in his one. We'll come back to the discussion. Nome Mignon, quick in and out here. Saw a big bump off the back foot there as he hit that bottom turn. I wonder if he's going to do the same thing that Luel Philippe did and, and just use that wave to project down the line. Looks like this bigger set just pushing off the bank to the left of screen a little bit. Absolutely dry. As we see this one, that's going pretty dry for the man in green. Wow, comes out. So Wensley Santos, as we talk about the barrels down the bank, gets a great looking ride. And I've got to say, looking at the <laughs> earlier barrel and the great claim, uh, that was a pretty deep and dry put. Combine his last two wave scores, a couple of threes to, to get around the total of that. Let's check it out again, though. We see he just took off straight into the arm drag. He knew what was going down. Nice high line through that thing, too. You could see it was going to pinch a little bit lower, so he took that high line. He had a fight through the chandelier a little bit to come out, but uh, he was never going to struggle to come out of that one. And then waiting for this big closeout section. How heavy and sandy was that thing? Um, pretty much could have built a sandcastle on the way down. And uh, I can't help but feel that we would have seen some bigger scores early this morning if they'd been down there. Speaking of j big scores, Josh Burke's looking for 5 to 8 He's going to want to get one here. That's better. Big open face carve, opens the shoulders up. Will this thing offer him something down the line? You can see him really trying to traverse. He went for the high road, now he's gone the low road and completes that one. So that'll be a better way for Josh Burke. Four he's got 3.33, looking to throw away 5 to 8 Up behind him, our heat leader. This is Luel Felipe. Oh, how was the fin ditch in the lips there? And that was never going to be pulled off. We got some work done, and here we go. Oh, backhand tumor ride. Hadn't seen too many of these this morning. Nome Mignon, the Frenchman, just gets a little clamped on there, and him and Luel will become best of friends underwater, I imagine, here. <laughs> Fours up in the 13s, 14s, 15s. We look at this heat, you know, your highest total of 12, 6, 7. So it is getting a little bit more tricky out there as we see the Frenchman charging down the line. Looking for a 4.8 out in this one. Came from way behind the section, and you can just see the frustration there. He worked really hard. We said it before that the guys were paddling themselves too far up the line. He had priority. He was able to make that first one and come around it, but as a result, he was just out of sync for the rest of it. Fourth priority as we come under the three-minute mark. So, look, does he race down the line, try and find one of these end ones? Wesley Santos on this one here. Love little pit. Spits behind him. Jam in the pocket. Love little hook. Doesn't commit too much on that one because he doesn't want to waste it. He's know he's got more little gaff under the lip there. So, <laughs> Wesley Santos... Didn't get the memo that he's actually at work here today. <laughs> he's in uh, very relaxed in the second position. He's dropping a 3.43 as his low score. Some fantastic action in this. All surfers getting at least six waves under the belt. So lots of opportunities. Here is Josh Burke looking for that 7.71 on this one. 
Bit of a wobbly one. He's going to go big here. Why not? Corrupt flip under the lip. We're going to keep pushing through. We've got fantastic conditions at hand here, folks. Pushing into heat number six of round five. We'll take a quick break and come back. You are watching the Bolito Pro presented by O'Neill.